It's two days after Christmas and we're out for a little bit of a walk. Uh, the wind's blowing, so sorry about that wind noise. As you can see, for the most part, the snow has melted from the two little snowstorms that we had. Uh, it's very muddy though. We've been getting some rain and some ice. I haven't really done much since Thanksgiving since I had to take my dog to the emergency vet on Thanksgiving Day. A little update on him. Uh, he's doing much better. Take him off the uh, pain pills. Uh, he's doing a lot better walking around the house. Doesn't seem to be in any pain. Also, um, as far as his eyesight goes, um, kind of notice that, yeah, up close, he has no vision at all. He's getting around the house just fine, although a couple times he did lose his way. I found him staring at a wall, not knowing what to do. As far as his distance goes, I think you can see shadows, so that is good. If you notice, I'm wearing orange. It's, like I said, it's two days after Christmas, so Merry Christmas. And for the most part, deer season is over with on state lands uh, as far as shotgun season goes um so technically i really only need the hat because it's still small game season until the end of february i uh, not required to wear the vest but on private land up until january 2nd um it's still shotgun season so i don't think this trail that i'm taking today crosses over into any private land but just in case and like i said i really haven't done much between thanksgiving and Christmas, just kind of like keeping an eye on my dog, uh, spending the holidays with my family. So today we're up in George Washington State Park. Uh, I've shown you this a few times, uh, fishing, hiking, camping. Um, never really explored the white trail too much around the lake, except for up to the cove section where I did fishing. And I always kind of stopped there. So today, I'm planning to go a little bit further especially now there's no snow on the ground although it's still very muddy trail looks clear it's a beautiful day it's uh, almost 50 degrees for being almost january actually about three days out from january now um still got a couple icy spots i didn't bring the trekking poles today because i didn't think i would need them since most of the ice is gone So as you can see, the trail is getting a little bit icy in some spots from the ice storm we had about a week or so ago. I don't own ice cleats up in Rhode Island. I probably should. Alrighty, so we're up on the other side of the cove now. Uh, still on the white trail. The white trail does go all the way around, which is absolutely awesome. Gonna check it out this summer for fishing. The only problem I've seen so far, though, is uh, once the water level comes back up to its levels that it's at in the summertime after all the spring rains and spring snow is there's really not going to be too many areas to fish. A lot of it's grown in. They haven't cut it down in years. Um, but as you can see, there are some nice rock structures for the fish to hang out in when they're spawning. Uh, got some sunken tree branches, some leaves, but yeah. As you can see, this is all grown in, so once the leaves come back, it's going to be a little difficult to try to fish through here. Uh, unless I actually clear a spot, but yeah, we are up on the other side of the cove now. It's a beautiful reservoir, has a lot of nice fish in it, um, but fishing from shore is a little bit difficult because of the way things are maintained. And 
As you can see, we got some mountain laurels or um, New England rhododendrons, wild rhododendrons as they're called. It's a beautiful area. Okay, so due to the distance, I don't know how well the GoPro is picking it up, but we're across the lake from where we started. Uh, that beach area and that building is where the car is parked. Um, this is where the lake actually narrows out. As you can see, there's still a lot of stumps sticking up, but the islands that used to be out here that we used to drive the boat around and fish are pretty much uh, gone now after 30 years. Up through there, you might be able to see it. That's actually a campground. That's Bowdish camping area, more seasonal camping. So, yeah, the lake is uh, still frozen over. And you can see that it's actually very, very low right now uh, because it is a reservoir. They do lower it. Looks like the trail heads away from the lake at this point. It tends to start going uphill a little bit. I'm still following the white trail. Looks like I come up on another uh, possible old campground or uh, maybe this is for some primitive camping. But as you can see, there are picnic tables all throughout here. And the reason why I say this is old is because of this right here. Oh, that's some sort of pot to an old stove, maybe an old wood stove. You got a platform here. Fire ring, painting table, although it does look kind of well maintained, so maybe they do some primitive camping up here. Somebody left a candlestick out on the uh, picnic table. A more metal of what possibly looks to be an old wood stove or something. Pipes coming out of the ground, more metal over there. And the reason why I say wood stove or something is because of the chimney. And the round things look like where it could be burners. Maybe it was a huge grill or something. And I do wonder if this is for primitive tent camping during the summer because there's only a trail up through here. There's no road coming in. Site number six, got another platform. I have to check this out. Maybe get me a tent and spend the night up here myself. So of course you got the lake down that way. Platform, put your tent on up off the ground, painting table, fire ring. So there's an outhouse up that way so we're going to continue going on this way looks like this might head back to the campground that i started out at circle around but we'll find out not bad looks like it's still stocked Still stocked. So I've decided it's got a modern compost toilet. This is interesting. Apparently, if you keep going down this way, you come to a restricted area. And that tree has the white arrows there. And if you're coming in from the other direction, this tree shows the foot trail actually goes off to the back where I came from. So, looks like the white trail does now go up this skinny little path heading back down towards the lake. So, since this is a restricted area, I think this is actually where the Gloucester 
fire department um, is in their back woods area. So we're gonna head back this way, which looks to take us down towards the lake. And as you can see, the trail gets much skinnier than what I was walking on. So don't know how much ice is gonna be on here, but looks like it goes through some beautiful uh, mountain laurels. And interesting enough, looks like that one's about ready to sprout some new leaves. Uh, even though it is just the beginning of winter. Here's the communication tower in which the white trail does run up behind the Gloucester Fire Department by the looks of it. So the restricted area is their access road to get in to service the communication tower. White Trail continues up this way, back towards George Washington Campground and the lake, so that's where we're headed. Pretty uh, carved out trail, pretty wide trail. Up in the woods section, there's not much ice, but from the cold from the lake, down on the lake section, there still is a lot of ice today, so. And like I said, we did have an ice storm. Uh, just about a week ago now. We're back at the bridgeways over near the beach section. So which means I'm almost back to the car. So the one thing that stinks about the white walkabout trail and getting to those primitive campsites, even though it's not that far of a distance, um, hiking the shorter way as opposed to the way that I took going all the way around the lake um, is it's gonna be all uphill. Uh, if you go around by the lake and come in the way that I did, it's going to be downhill. So depending on your hiking preference and how soon you want to get set up for camp. This is the end of the trail. Nice little winter hike. Uh -huh. 